Hi guys, in today's session we will be looking into all the options available on plate menu. To draw a plate, click on the plate option in the steel ribbon. Specify a name, say plate. Profile indicates what thickness to be included, say 15 mm. And material is the grade of the plate. Type in the values or click on the three dots to load the material. Provide finish if needed. Here I am going to provide finish as HTG. Provide a suitable class. Let the part prefix be in small and assembly prefix be in caps PL. Now let me draw a plate using the plate option. Say 200 by 200 width. Click on the middle mouse button to close the plate. To draw a plate you require a minimum of 3 points. To modify a plate Turn on the direct modification by typing D or choosing the icon. Select the midpoint and move the node to create a new node. To delete one, select the node and press delete key. Now the position in menu indicates the position of the work handles. Here middle is the work handle is in the mid. Now if I change the handle to front, it moves to the front and behind when I choose to move the behind. If I type in any values, the depth of the plate moves at a type distance from the handle. If I type in negative value, the direction is reversed. Now let us look into the second option, cylindrical bend plate. There are two options here, by parts and by faces. Select by parts and choose two parts and click on the middle mouse button to finish. Now for by faces, click on select by faces and choose two faces that is to be drawn and specify the radius if you know. Select the faces and click on the middle mouse button to draw the bend plate. Now for conical end plate, select the option from the steel menu and select by parts. Select the parts and click on the middle mouse button to finish the plate. Sometimes for straight plates, when you click on by parts and click on middle mouse button, it shows some error. For this, you can correct them by choosing the face option. Click on the faces and click on middle mouse button to draw the bend plate. Also specify the radius if you know. For standalone plate, select the option Specify the radius of bottom mark. Specify the height. Also specify the top arc and click on middle mouse button to finish the command. For lofted end plates, there are two options. Two construction object or one object and a point. Let me demonstrate by one object and a point. Select the construction object and click on a point and click middle mouse button to draw the plate. For option 1, select two construction object and select the middle mouse button to draw the plate. Now there is an option called face type in lofted plate. If I select bounded by curved surface, it creates a flat surface to the plane. If I select perpendicular, the face is going to be perpendicular to the angle drawn. That's it guys. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos.